Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about uh, wishing a happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there that have fought uh, at, for and have defended the United States at, at home and abroad. And they have, even during peacetime uh, in South Korea with in the demilitarized zone, those U.S. soldiers patrolling the DMZ, even if it's technically peacetime, they have a tough job to do. And this freezing cold during the wintertime, and they have to stay awake um, at odd hours. And they're watching the North Koreans every move because the North Koreans could strike unpredictably again any minute. And so God bless all the DMZ veterans, either in wartime or in peacetime. And it wasn't just Vietnam that was going on during that time. The Particularly because North Korea was a lot of the North Vietnam at the time. The U.S. soldiers patrolling the DMZ were on extra, extra high alert. Also, uh, thanks to all the veterans in all the wars. Um, World War One. World War II, uh, I, the Korean War, uh, South Korea is like my second home. And thanks to those veterans, the United States supplied the majority of the military force there. There were veterans from other countries that came and did a good job as well. But the United States supplied the majority of those soldiers. And they, because of that, it pushed the North Koreans away from South Korea. And it, that helped make South Korea a free and prosperous nation. I lived in South Korea for two years. That Yes, it's an those U.S. veterans help, helped make that possible. And World War II, uh, they helped rid uh, Asia of fascism uh, and Japanese imperialism and helped rid Europe of fascism. And instead of the vengeance motives that were implemented, like, like the Treaty of Versailles after World War I, the U.S. developed a Marshall Plan, which helped feed Germany and Italy and rebuild them into democratic nations, but through generosity, not um, aggression, uh, West Germany, because Germany was split between East and West with the U.S. taking the West side, well, the majority of it. The British had a portion, the French had a portion, and the Soviets had the East side. So, and Germany, West Germany, the rapes of civilian women were a lot lower than in East Germany, and East Germany, rapes of civilian women were just at an all-time high by Soviet soldiers, uh, atrocities against civilians in East Germany were at an all-time high. That's one of many reasons why many East Germans immigrated and tried to cross into West Germany, even at the risk of East German and Soviet soldiers shooting at them, because the U.S. veterans treated the, the U.S. soldiers treated the Germans much more humanely than the Soviet soldiers did. That's documented. Uh, and the U.S. helped build Japan into a free and prosperous nation after the war instead of having an aggressive policy towards Japan. And a lot of Japanese people are very, very grateful that the U.S. didn't take a vengeance on them and helped rebuild Japan. So everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.